Now, I'm really looking forward to this fight. Uh, Nate Austin coming out of Matt Secor Jiu-Jitsu, he's 0-2. Uh, Eddie Acosta, you know, he's been around a long time. He's 0-1 MMA right now, but he, he was in a different promotion, fought a kickboxing fight, picked up a W there, so he's on a little bit of a roll. Uh, two completely different approaches to mixed martial arts. Nate Austin, again, coming from Matt Secor Jiu-Jitsu, amazing Jiu-Jitsu school, amazing Jiu-Jitsu jiu -jitsu instructors. Uh, Eddie Acosta comes from more of a boxing background. So let's see if he's been filling in the holes to make the effective styles. striking. Well, but you know, I, let's see if he's filled in the holes to where he can really work his effective striking. If he can defend Nate Austin's takedowns. Should be interesting, and here we go. We got Acosta coming in right now, being inspected by the USMTA And now official. if you notice, he's with Jarek Jones, and if you don't know who Jarek Jones is, he's a very, very well-respected guy in the boxing community as well as the kickboxing community. Before he was known for boxing, he was actually a kickboxer. DMX gets me hyped. I want to punch you. I want to punch you right now. <laughs> Just punch someone. Where my dogs at? Fucking punch him. Third man in the ring this time, Mr. Mike Walter. Third referee of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. This should be an interesting. He, he needs to have a nickname, like Mike Walter. He definitely needs. Like one. maybe Big Pimpin. No dog. He's a dog. No, no, Big Pimpin. Big Pimpin. All maybe right. Big Tasty. Big I'm not calling him any guy Big Tasty. <laughs> That's not happening. I'm being an ass. Yeah, I hope so. You, remember, you know the Goldbergs, the show? Yeah. That's where it's from. I've never seen that show. Well, thanks for ruining my joke. <laughs> and up to the ring announcer, Mike Falvo. This bout is scheduled for three rounds. It's, it is in our lightweight division. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner, representing MS Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu from South Glens Falls, New York. He has a fight record of zero wins, two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, Nate Austin. And his opponent on the other side of the cage, fighting out of the red corner from Green Island, New York. He has a Cage Wars record of zero wins and one loss. He is fast, steady, machete, Eddie Acosta. And the referee taking control at the sound of the bell is Mr. Michael Walzer. Again, one of the things about this fight is I'm pretty sure Eddie was scheduled to fight Nate in a previous Cage Wars, but Eddie had some sort of a health issue. So this is one of those fights that's kind of been brewing for a while. So they got it rescheduled, and here we are, Cage Wars 41. Nate Austin versus Eddie Acosta. Both these guys very calm, very composed, very relaxed. Yeah, there's not much like hype like bouncing around in there. They're very, uh, looks like they're going to the library to read a couple books. And here we go, Mike Walters. Off we go. Fight number four of the evening. Now, if you notice that, he's looking to push the pressure. He met Nate also right in the blue corner. Oh, nice right hand. Again, you see that strike. Yeah, trying to use that uh, boxing. Nice right hands. Now, he's got to be careful, though, because, again, you know, Nate's going to try to shoot under that. And there it is. Just like you are talking about, Nate comes right in for the shot, but Eddie does a good job sprawling and defending. With he does. Overhook. You can tell he's been doing some uh, takedown defense. It looks good. As Austin's got him against the cage right now. Costa's using an over-under to try and turn him. Nice job by Eddie turning him, and he, he starts delivering the punishment right there because, again, Nate's very comfortable grappling. He's coming from Matt Secor's. You know, there's grappling and there's grappling getting punched and kicked. Yo, and that's what Eddie's trying to do. As Austin's trying to use those underhooks, he's got right now the body lock, but it's not helping. He's got to get those hips well, in. Yeah, he's got to get the hips in, and Eddie's breaking the elbows down a little bit so that he can't suck Eddie into his yep. hips. Yeah, if you use overhooks, you're just doing it just as much damage as the underhooks. And he's negating that, that yep. pressure that he can put on Eddie's spine. Now, this is where Eddie doesn't want to be flat against the cage. There he goes. He's working that left hand in under Nate's right arm. Nate's using the head really well. She's going to try to suck him in and more than likely take him down or trip him. There he goes. He lets go to the body lock. and trying to Nice job by Eddie. He felt when there was an opportunity, and he, and he, and he seized it. Oh! Well, good job by Eddie. He, he broke the clinch and backed out. He didn't try going for a takedown of his own. 
Went to what he's good oh! at. Oh! Nice right hand. Nice right hand. Drops it. Nate I'd make Austin. him get up. I'd make him get up. Yeah, I will. Uh, Costa, I would make Why him get Why would you up jump there. down there like that when it's a novice match? Make him get up. Yep. Well, yeah, well, you can't hit him in the face. Big right hand, though, by Eddie Acosta. A nice head kick. Nice, nice job nice by shot. Eddie. I, you know, I see a lot of improvement in Eddie. Oh, big shot right there. But when you're on your knees, you can't do much. Oh, Eddie's got to turn away from the cage. He's got to get away from the cage right now, get to his left. He's got to turn and get to the left, get his leg behind him. Because right now, Nate's trying to pull his legs out from underneath him, get him to his back. Yeah, if Austin could get his left hand and put it around the waist, he's in perfect position for a takedown. Yeah, he's just basically going to try to suck his legs out from underneath him. Yep. Costa wants to get uh, his uh, left leg up. Eddie looked like you want to punch him in the head. There and it yep, is. Mike Walter, yeah. you know, he, he, he pulled position, it, but he reminded him. You can't hit a and point. now this is not where Eddie wants to be. He needs to work to get up. It looks like he has his head, though. I can't really see the position he's got it in, though. But you can't do anything from the flat of your back like that. You're not going to create a choke. You're not going to create any real tension or, or pressure. As Austin's trying to land some shots to the body, he's bouncing off uh, Costa's sh shoulders. Ten seconds of the first round. Good first round thus far, though. It's going to be an interesting one to score as well. Nice job, Eddie. And Eddie gets back up to his feet. And here we go, end of round one, wow. ladies and gentlemen. That round can go either way. That, I'm, that's a tough one to score. Honestly, I don't even know how to put it right now. I don't either, depending upon where you're watching it. I think the knockdown is the most effective strike. Striking of striking is Eddie. Yeah, definitely. Grappling was definitely awesome. Where it's going to come into question is the cage control and the and The, the only uh, difference the is, aggression. though, the striking was much more effective than I believe the grappling was. But the I way the unified was, rules work is I, you can't weigh that. one more than the other. So if one person takes a grappling, one person takes a striking, then it goes to that octagon and cage control. And I would have to say, Eddie was probably the more aggressive person in that. Absolutely. That's, that's, my, that's going to be a tough one to score. It really is. I'm, I'm curious to see how they do that. I would I, give it to Eddie slightly. Uh, that's how I'm going. That would be like a 9.5 to a 10. Okay, 9.5 to a 10. If we could do that. 9.5? Yeah, 9.5. 9.5. I don't think we're allowed to, but we're going. that's our own uh, scoring system right now. The one and the only, Mike Falvo. He's such a stud, that guy. He really is. Former uh, Air Force veteran. Big Mike Walter, call him in the ring. Here we go, round two. Now, Nate is, is much more respectful of Eddie striking right now. Notice that? Yeah, yeah, he's definitely uh, covering up a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Well, Eddie landing that right right there still. You know, again, coming from that boxing background, he's got that nice straight right hand. Nice kick to the shin. Oh, right but he there. hurt his foot. You see him grimace? Did he? he didn't hit him. He didn't hit with his shin. He hit with his foot. One of the things about kicks are you don't want to land on top of the foot or the ankle. You want to land on the shin. It's going to be more powerful and it's going to hurt you less. Oh, shooting in for that leg. Good, Eddie's got to bring that left leg back. Right there by Eddie Acosta. Oh, oh, too oh, much. oh, 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 oh! Nice Hold job, him, Eddie. Good job. Wow. Excellent job. Good to hold job keeping his hips low, too. Like Nate's trying to suck those hips almost. in. And you hear Nate's corner saying, suck the leg in, suck the leg in. That's hard to do from this position. You right got here. Kirill Gron and Derek Fosterellis over there in the corner giving him great instruction. As Austin's doing a good job. And he's doing a good job listening. If you see, he's sucking the legs in. Eddie's just doing a great job defending it now. Eddie needs to turn away from there. Yes, good job, Eddie. Oh, good spin Going for the neck, but he's a little high. He's high. He's high. That's an odd situation. He's high right choke. now. Never seen this position, to be honest. Yeah, he's just way too high. You know, he's right like now. He's to the head underneath him. Yeah, that's not where you want to be with a Matt Secord Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. Yeah. Not at all. Interesting position. Nice job by Eddie. Yeah, though. What, what is going on here? Yeah, this is like quite the position. Is this like how starfish mate? Uh, maybe, but this is a hell of a date if you ask me. <laughs> now, it's also really important. popped his head. It's also really important to know at home, the only kind of leg locks you can initiate are straight leg locks. Nothing with rotation. No heel hooks, no spinning leg locks. From this position, it looked like he's dropping thunder on his nuts. 
Oh, man, but he's got that big old cup. He's safe. Yeah, hopefully. I was going to say that's a I got a cup a envy. <laughs> he's bringing the pain to his boys. Obviously, he's not doing that because you're not allowed to crack him in the Now, kabuna. let's see how long Mike Walter lets them stay here. Yeah, this is an odd position. You don't see this too often. Mike Walter warning him, saying, stand up or I'm going to stand you up. Or, I mean, do something or I'm going to stand you up. And here we go. He's bringing him up. Now, Nate Austin's not happy about that. No, but because he was in the dominant position. But, but it was a dominant position, but there wasn't a lot of things that could end the fight there. Oh, maybe if you crack someone in the nuts. Yeah, but that's illegal. <laughs> Still end the fight. This is not Miami, and here's in Kimbo Slice fights. <laughs> Ain't no Dada 5000. <laughs> yeah, aren't those both those guys dead now? No, Dada almost died. Oh, but Kimbo did. Kimbo did All die. Right. Unfortunately, I God rest. Kimbo rests. did. Rest in peace. I wasn't sure if Dada. Dada almost did in his fight. 5.5 thousand. Nice. That's the end oh, of round wow. Two. What a round. It was an interesting round. Wow. We had a scissoring action going on over here. Scissoring. Yeah, it was like a whorehouse. You said scissoring and a whorehouse <laughs> online. Yeah. yeah, it was qu quite entertaining. It, 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 we got some interesting positions. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Man, you, we got more interesting positions than you can see on some internet pages. <laughs> now, wh what do you say to each fighter? Like... This could be one one. What I say to, to Eddie Acosta is slow down, work off your jab to set up that cross. Because right now, Nate Austin is trying to time the right hand because that's the thing that's most threatening to him in this fight. If I'm Nate Austin's corner, I'm saying be mindful of what you're doing. You know, if you're in that position like you just ended in, you know you don't have submissions, reposition yourself, position before submission because as you see, the ref will stand you up. Here we go. Third and final and round. Yep, third and final round, just like Will Barry said. Mike Walter is the third man inside the cage. Good fight so far. These it's a great, great fight. It's entertaining, too. If, you're not, if you haven't ordered, I know those listening to us, but the, those on Facebook watching us, order. 15 order. bucks. You can watch the fight instead of just hearing. Yeah. And they're way better looking than us. That's definitely true. Although I bring jokes. A big shot right there. Eddie looked like he caught him. Austin, he, Austin's coming in and getting stuck on his knees every time he shoots and hits the hips. That's why uh, Acosta is doing a good job But he's scrolling. sucking the legs in still, right? So he's keeping his patience. He's turning. This he's is where Acosta's making a mistake because he's on yes. his knees now. And, and, Ac and Acosta should be turning with Nate. Yep. You see how Eddie's just, just letting there. him get to his right side? He needs to be circling with him. He should stuff the head, too, while he's at it. Oh, absolutely. Just like we talked about where the head goes, body follows. you got to push that head. Yep. So we good, and this is where Austin should be climbing up to the. And hips. now Eddie's sitting on his butt. Not a good position. Nope. And there he is, just like I, just as I say it. Climb He's going to the try hips. to pull Nate Austin, but Nate Austin's going to end up on top. Two. Wrestling. This would be two. Oh, would have been two for a second. Nate's nice and composed. Austin's got to bring those hips. In Eddie should hips be throwing his hips back yeah. and circling. Hips need to come in. The other one's got to bring his hips away and keep them away. Right now, I'm, I'm giving this to Acosta. Uh, so am I. Yeah. But but now he just rolled to his back, though. Well, he, he caught his left leg and then turned. Eddie held on to the neck, where he should have let go of the neck and then reposition. It looks as if Eddie's getting a little bit tired. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, well, he might be straining his arms right there, trying to hold that You're head. not going to end that. No. You're not going to end it in that position, so, you know, and, and my thinking is why hold it because you're just tiring your arms out. Yeah, try and change, move your arms, advance to a better position. Oh, going for mount, and he's got it. That, well, that's an interesting position right there. Can he get that? Not oh. nearly as interesting as a starfish scissor. That's true. That was very interesting. Now, Nate's got to put his hand, he's got to get his hands and fight Eddie's hands. He's got to fight that right hand. Because Eddie's just trying to stand up. Eddie's looking at the ref like, hey, man. You know, Eddie's not really trying to do anything but get a stand up. To be honest, up. I'm surprised he didn't stand, after standing up before. I'm surprised he didn't bring it back up. But now uh, we're in full, full guard, a full, uh, full, mount. full mount right here. And, and Nate's trying to flatten Eddie out, but Eddie's a longer guy, and Nate's getting a little bit high up on the, on the stomach, which is good to create pressure, but he's not going to be able to flatten him out like that. 30 seconds left in the round. Nate's using the head. He's looking for that Americana on the right arm. 
Yep, going for that arm lock. 15 seconds. Fans, his coaches for Nate Austin yell and finish it. This is going to be a tough one to score, too. Yeah. So half the round was... Uh, right now, I, I give this to Nate Austin. Yeah. Especially, you know, judges don't want to admit it, but what really sticks out in your mind is what you saw in the last minute of that fight. Oh, I agree 100%. There we go. His sportsmanship's being shown right there, ladies and gentlemen. Great job. I go two rounds to one Acosta. I'm going the same direction. I really am. I think he had the first and the third. Obviously, Austin, I think, had the second. Um, very interesting fight, that's for sure. It's going to be a tough one to score for the judges. These fights are cruising, but they're, uh, they've are they been going all three rounds. Yeah. Only one went to finish, and that was James Carroll with the uh, rear naked choke. And that was still in the second round. Yeah. Great, great, uh, great night of fight so far. Eric Komar scores the fight 29-28. Nels Larson scores the fight 29-28. And Alexius Phoenix scores the fight 30-26. For your winner by majority decision, Nate Austin. Wow, that, that's surprising. A 30-26 round. I didn't see a fight. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious uh, about that where he scored 30-26. Um, should be interesting, but uh, Nate Austin, congratulations on the victory. You know, but that there. also that makes it tough when you're judging those novice rules. What makes a 10-8 round? I, that's it's a lot easier to judge a 10-8 round in an advanced rules fight. Center Cage Wars 42. Tickets go on sale tonight at midnight. You can get yours at RiversCasinoAndResort.com or the Proctor's Box Office.